I, the student from Auburn, Alabama, have sent me a message that uh, he have this differential equation in his notebook. He also have the answer to it, but he's not able to solve and get the answer. So the, um, I don't know what method he have been using, but this is a very good example of uh, using these steps that uh, we use in, to solve the homogeneous differential equations. So I believe it will be a lot easier using this than any other method. Because of this square root we have in here, if you want to find the integrating factors, it's going to be a mess. So the, let's use this uh, method. Let's assume that y is equal to vx Therefore, dy will be equal to v dx plus x dv. Now, let's go ahead and plug these values for y and dy in this equation. So, we are going to have x cubed plus y squared plus, which is v squared, x squared, uh, multiplied by the square root of x squared plus y squared, again v squared, x squared, times dx minus xy. x multiplied by y, y is vx, so we get vx squared multiplied by the square root of x squared plus v squared, x squared, dy, and our dy is v dx plus x dv equal to zero. Now let's go ahead and simplify this. We can write this as we can write this as x cubed dx plus v squared x squared times the square root of x squared plus v squared x squared dx minus, if we multiply this by the first term, is going to be uh, v squared x squared times the square root of x squared plus v squared x squared dx minus v x cubed v x squared times x is v x cubed the square root of x squared plus v squared x squared dv equal to zero. Now we can see that these two terms are the same. So these two terms will cancel out. So we are going to have x cubed dx minus v x cubed multiplied by the square root of let me write this portion under the square root as x squared multiplied by 1 plus v squared dv equal to 0. Now, uh, we can bring this x squared out of the square root will be x and multiply it by that x. So we are going to have x to power 3 dx minus v x to power 4 multiplied by a square root of 1 plus v squared dv equal to 0. So let me write let me write this problem right now this equation as x cubed dx minus dx to power four multiplied by the square root of one plus v square. So we can write that as one plus v square to power one half dv equal to zero.
Now, let's divide this equation by x to power 4. If we do that, on the first portion, x to power 3 divided by x to power 4, we are going to have 1 over x dx minus, on the second portion, x to power 4 will cancel out, so we are going to have minus v multiplied by 1 plus v squared to power 1 half dv equal to 0. Now, uh, in order for us to solve, we need to take the integration. So the integration of 1 over x dx is equal to the natural log of x. And the integration of v times 1 plus v squared to power 1 half. That is... Uh, the integration of v times 1 plus v squared to power 1 half dv. Let's assume that u is equal to 1 plus v squared. So du over dv will be equal to 0 plus 2v. So dv will be equal to du over 2v so now let's plug the value of u and dv in this equation so we are going to have the integration of v times 1 plus v squared we, we uh, assume 1 plus v squared is u so u to power 1 half multiplied by dv dv is du over 2v so v and v will cancel out so if v and v cancel out let me write it here if v and v cancel out we are going to have the integration of u to power 1 half du we are going to have 1 half one half of u to power one half du so the integration of this will be will be equal to one half u to power one half plus one divided by one half plus one so that would be equal to one half uh, u to power uh, three half uh, divided by 3 half so that would be uh, one uh, this will be equal to 1 half multiplied by 2 third uh, u to power 3 over 2 so 2 and 2 will cancel out so the integration of this term uh, is going to be uh, 1 third u to power 3 over 2 which we assume that u is 1 plus v square so is 1 third uh, 1 plus v square to power 3 half so the integration of this part is minus one third times one uh, pl uh, one plus v squared to power three half is equal to a constant is equal to a constant Okay, now we have solved this equation. We have solved this equation in terms of v and x. Now, let's go ahead 
and uh, let's go ahead and uh, use the third step d is equal to y over x and transfer these uh, into uh, in terms of y and x rather than x and v so let's go ahead and uh, we assume that so v will be equal to y over x so this will be natural log of x uh, minus one third multiplied by one plus v squared is y squared over x squared to the power three half is equal to c. Now this is the answer to this. Uh, this is the answer to this problem. So the answer that you have this is the answer to this differential equation. Let's see how did they how did they write this answer? If you go any way forward, uh, it's going to be confusing a little bit okay but uh, let's see how did they how how did they come up with that answer the way they came up with that answer is they wrote this equation as natural log of x minus c equal to equal to one third multiplied by one plus y square x square to power three and a half. We can rewrite this, bring the c to this side and uh, send this to the other side. So we can rewrite it like this and this is a constant so they have written this constant as natural log of x plus natural log of c equal to one third one plus y square x square to the power three half. See, minus c is a constant. So, in reality, when we are working with a real problem, uh, we are going to have a curve. And uh, if we have the actual values uh, of x and y, and plug the actual values of x and y, uh, inside our, uh, our equation uh, in order for us to solve this constant the answer will give us the exact value of that constant uh, if it's positive or if it's negative so so you can write that constant any way you want to so the, so the way they have come up with that solution this is how they wrote it they wrote that constant as plus natural log of c and they use this formula natural log of a plus natural log of b is equal to natural log of a multiplied by b so they use that and they wrote this as natural log of xc natural log of xc is equal to uh, one third of and this, they, they use the common denominator x square, x square plus y square to power 3 half. So we can, x square to power 3 half, 3 divided by 2 is 
become x cube and can come out. So we can write this as natural log of natural log of x c equal to uh, one over three x cube multiplied by x square plus y square to power uh, three half. So now, now we can multiply both sides of the equation with 3x cubed. So we are going to have 3x cubed natural log of xc equal to x squared plus y squared to power 3 half. So x squared plus y squared to power 3 half is really equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared to power 3. So this is how they use it, but this is confusing. I will stay there. We finished out. You, know, you don't have to go to this. Once you start to mess with the constant like that, for a lot of students, it will be it's been be confusing. I hope this uh, was the answer to your question, and uh, this was also the last homogeneous uh, differential equation that uh, I would solve. I would put a video for, uh, unless if somebody has a good.